Hi guys, today today's video is a bit of a negative, a bit of a sad topic, but I think it is worth talking about, and that is the dangers of Teflon regarding birds. So I guess this won't really apply to most people in general, but for those people who do own birds or live with birds, it is something that is, it is very important to be aware of, and that is that Teflon is toxic to birds, especially when it has been overheated or burnt. So what we're going to do today is I'm just going to read some stories from a website where they have collected um, various first-person accounts of very sad and uh, disastrous. Just a warning that these stories are very sad. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one is from Theresa K. I awoke to my husband calling me to get up. Something was wrong with Watson. Watson was a rescued blue and gold that had become my life. I jumped out of bed and in a macabre move... My husband turned around, cradling Watson, and said, Watson is dead. I thought my world had stopped right there. I carried Watson into the bedroom and rocked and cried for at least 20 minutes. I gained some composure and said, I have to put him in the freezer. We have a full breeding aviary, and I knew the responsible thing to do was a necropsy. As I walked into the kitchen, I saw that the pan was smouldering. The pan had been full of water and the burner turned off but a short circuit had turned it on, even though the handle or indicator said it was off. I then noticed a sun conure flying by and dropping to the ground, also immediately dead. The next few hours are the hardest I will probably ever go through. One by one, the birds were dying, agonizing, screaming. We opened up everything in the house. It was snowing and freezing. I placed fans everywhere to exhaust the fumes. I lost two Boston Terrier puppies from pneumonia two days later. We did our best to hold each and every one of them my cause as they were dying. I didn't want them to be alone in their pain. In my mind will always be etched my husband holding the Caleb, the Camelot Macaw, and Max and Nande tucked under his shirt as I went down the steps to pull Dee Dee, a 50 plus blue and gold, and hold her as she was screeching her last breaths away. My husband sounded so vulnerable as he screamed out, Oh God, not Dee Dee. Thankfully, most is still a blur. That night, we lost three blue and gold macaws, a Camelot macaw, one scarlet macaw, two sun conures, two nande conures, two tags, T-A-G-S, I don't know what that is, four parallettes and over 40 cockatiels. The next morning, we had to tell the kids and they did not deal well with this. My six-year-old put a box over his head that was there almost constantly for a week, saying he was a superhero. And he would grill me, why did I kill the birds? Why did I buy the pan? Why couldn't I save them? The next letter is from a woman who had a Moluccan cockatoo. And her name is Michelle. In April, we had a small piece of carpet cut out and replaced in the living room. I notify the repairman that I have birds on my house and cannot have any fumes or Teflon used in my home. I have an Amazon and a, Malo and a Moluccan cockatoo. They assured me that there were no fumes or toxic materials being used. Four hours later, my Moluccan Roxy started to throw up. We rushed her to an emergency 24-hour vet who didn't know a thing about birds. She gave her an injection of an antibiotic and she soon after went into respiratory distress and died at 1.15am. We did not do an necropsy on her. I found out the next day they had used carpet glue and a Teflon iron to repair the carpet. Even though I took Roxy upstairs to another room while the work was being done, she died anyway. A part of us died too that night. I'll never know for sure exactly what she died from, but I believe this was the cause. Many people have asked me then, why is my Amazon okay? I don't really know. Let everyone know you cannot trust workers in your house they don't know what they are using in their house and they know less about parrots. The next letter is from a family in Iowa, 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 and they lost a ringneck, which I think is a ringneck dove, which is, is the same as my collared dove, two Amazons and a blue and gold macaw within 10 minutes of using an electric skillet and a space heater concurrently while preparing dinner. 
Don's family was preparing for dinner one evening using the electric skillet. An electric space heater was also running in the area since it was a chilly evening. She then noticed that her ring neck was not visible in his cage. She had seen him playing there just ten minutes before, but she checked anyway just to make sure he was still in the cage and hadn't gotten out. She was horrified to find the bird lying dead on the floor of the cage. A moment later she heard a scream from a daughter in another room and rushed there to find her two Amazons dead. She then ran to her blue and gold macaw's cage to find the to find that bird nearly dead. She shut off the electric skillet, but not the electric heater, and made several frantic calls for help. Local vets were not available, but she was soon in contact with a National Animal Poison Centre. An out-of-state avian, avian vet returned the call about the same time the blue and gold went into convulsions. The vet immediately asked about the electric skillet, and Don told him they had been using it, but it was in good condition and on a low heat. He then asked if there was an electric space heater running in the area. When told there was, he said, shut it off quick. The vet told Don that probably a small amount of fumes was leaking from the skillet, and coupled with what was spilling from the heater, it was sufficient to kill her birds. He told her that even if she had been across the street from the vet, nothing could have saved her macaw. Apparently, the fumes cause hemorrhaging in the lungs and air sacs, and once the symptoms are evident, it is usually too late. The next letter is from Karen, who was using a toaster oven that has Teflon. For energy reasons, I do not routinely use my gas oven to cook small items. I use a small toaster or broiler oven whose interior does not have the PTFE appearance. And PTFE stands for polytetrafluoroethylene, which is like, uh, it's Teflon. Well, Teflon is one of the brand names of PTFE, but there are other types as well. The manual that came with it does not indicate PTFE components, although I have heard since that heating elements are usually coated with PTFE. I have used this small oven for nearly two years without a problem. Last year, I broiled a small steak in it in the exact same way I had done many times previously. After finishing my dinner, I brought my four birds out for their evening playtime with me, which lasts two hours. As I put them back in their cages, I noticed the macaw was in a, some kind of distress, breathing quite rapidly, with his mouth open, which I had never experienced with the bird. None of the other birds were affected. I was able to get the macaw to an avian vet within 70, 75 minutes of noticing the respiratory distress, and the vet treated him with oxygen and steroids. The macaw recovered with no apparent after effects, but neither the vet nor I were able to pinpoint the cause, and the vet told me that the macaw would have died if I had not gotten him to the vet as quickly as I did. We initially dismissed the oven because none of the other birds were affected. However, there was a second similar occurrence of respiratory distress with the macaw again immediately after using the oven. Again, none of the other birds were affected and again the macaw recovered. I now use the oven outside in the garage. The next letter is from Bob and Lynette and they had some newborn baby parrots. My name is Bob Stewart. My wife and I own an exotic bird business in Riverside, California. Along with all of the bird products we sell and distribute, we raise several species of parrots. We had an incident which we are still in litigation over. What happened was that our house was severely damaged in a fire and had to be gutted and rebuilt. In the process of reconstruction, we decided to upgrade all of the major built-in appliances. When we had moved back into the house after reconstruction was completed, we had several babies that had hatched and we were hand feeding them. All of our baby parrots were being kept in brooders on the kitchen counter. In the process of having them there, we decided to use our new stove to bake something in the oven. Unknowingly, we had no idea that the oven was in fact coated with a non-stick chemical. There was no warning on the paperwork concerning this. We were aware of such products as Teflon coated pots and pans being detrimental and deadly to birds and have made it a point to never have any of these types of products in the house. In the process of baking the food, the toxins created by the heating of the oven were released and all of the babies died as a result of it. 
We have had an attorney going after this company for the past year about the incident and we have yet to resolve it. Hopefully we can be of assistance in this matter since we have first-hand experience with this terrible scourge. Well, we'll just do one more. The last letter is very short. I just lost my co-leopard. He was a yellow cheek Amazon to Teflon poisoning. I came home from work and was heating up some water for a cup of hot cocoa. I forgot about the water on the stove. A while later, I heard my boy fall off of his perch, but I didn't hear anything else, so I went to investigate. He was sitting on the bottom of the cage with his head kind of bobbing back and forth. In less than five minutes, he was dying in my arms. It was the saddest thing, watching my friend of 21 years take his last breath in my arms. Please pass this piece on so that maybe another death can be prevented. It hurts real bad. Okay, that's all we'll do for today, but you get the idea that, te well, not only Teflon, but any kind of non-stick substance, whether it's on a pan or in an oven, or even like some of the people here, uh, an iron used to put carpets down, it can be extremely dangerous to birds. Uh, so just be careful and don't forget, you know, just check even the things that you would never even suspect, like the, this coating or similar coatings can be even on heaters as well. So the first few times you use a heater, it can be dangerous for birds. And I'll leave the link to this page in the description so you can check it out yourself and read the rest of the happenings. See you soon.